Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm going to show you how you can start with a basic sketch like this and take it into a final logo that looks like this using AI. So to get started, you need to go to the start with an image workspace. Once we're here, uh, you have two options here. You can start from an image or design you already have. So probably it's something you designed in Illustrator or you sketched out or something you took a picture of, or you can start with a sketch tool. So I'll start by opening the sketch tool. And I'll start by setting the background color. So I can just go to change background, click black and switch background color. And then I can start by picking a color. So I want to do this kind of like a golden color, it's kind of something like this. All right. And we can choose the pen tool. I'll choose the biggest brush. So I'm going to do like a really uh, rough sketch and I want to do uh, this minimalist deer logo. So I'm going to start sketching a really rough outline. All right, so something really rough like this, it did a terrible job on it. Now, if you need to adjust anything, you can uh, select it and like move it around in case you need to do that. And now we need to uh, define the image influence. So if I have something that's really well drawn, I probably want to use a high image influence so the AI would follow it more precisely. But since we have something super rough here, uh, we should drop it down to somewhere between low and mid. I would also like to use image colors so we can use the same black background and the kind of golden uh, color for the logo and I can start uh, with a really simple prompt so I'm just gonna do something like here standing on two legs I'll keep uh, the pictorial logo chosen and then in the settings here I can probably just choose to be modern uh, minimalist and here if it's portrait or full body I want it to be full body and let's click generate all right and these are the results we got uh, so you can see all of them follow the shape, but I introduced some improvements to it. Make sure that uh, it looks more anatomically correct as opposed to my horrible sketch. And now I can take any of these logos and turn it into a vector graphic. So for example, let's say I like this one. Uh, I can just click on vectorize and give it a few seconds. We got a vector file uh, downloaded. We got our vector file inside of Illustrator. Here we got uh, clean vectors uh, that we can edit and change to our liking. So let's say I don't like how uh, this leg is kind of like coming too close here. I want to just keep a uniform uh, distance like the one you can see here. You just like push these uh, vertices a little bit down and do any edits or fixes I want to do to this logo. I can also upload this SVG inside of Logo Diffusion again. So let's say I'm done uh, with this sketch. Um, I can just go open it here import svg and double click here and now it's an editable svg inside of uh, logo diffusion as well so uh, for one i can change the color let's say i want to make uh, the background uh, black again so i can just select the background that comes with it and just delete it and we already have the black background but we can change the colors from here let's bring it back to uh, black and now i can just start getting more iterations of this exact logo and these are some of the results i got uh, just trying the same sketch, but trying different uh, logo styles from here. So for example, I got uh, this one with line art. Uh, I got this version with mascot. Uh, this version I got it with cartoon. You can see here the style that's been used. This one was done with the icon slash emoji style. This is another cartoon logo and a couple more pictorial results. Uh, I did just by adjusting the sketch a little bit. So now let's say I want to do an illustration based on this logo. I can do that by changing the input uh, image in here. So let's say I want to make a uh, deer kind of made out of cotton candy just to try like how it works with weird concepts like this. So what I can do is just uh, start choosing the different shapes and changing the colors. So let's say I want this kind of uh, light pink and I can just start by copying uh, the same color for the other shapes. And let's say I want to change the background color to be kind of like a navy blue. So I'll try to do kind of like a color like this. And I'll just change the eye to be the same color of the background. And uh, in here, I can use image colors to make sure that it's using the input from here. And I'll ch change the prompt just to include something like made of fuzzy cotton candy. I would change the style here to 3D. 
there are many realistic styles here, but I'll just uh, stick to 3D for now. And let's hit generate. And these are the results we got. Now uh, they all followed the input image. Uh, for example, like we got this one, it looks like kind of floating. And I think because the legs on it is a little bit short, uh, since it's more uh, abstract, uh, but in order to fix something like this, you can just write something like hovering inside of the negative prompt. You get to it by opening the advanced settings here and you just generate again and it should fix uh, small problems like this. I've also used the same method to create uh, different uh, looks. For example, I made this one kind of made of melting slime. Uh, I did another one with the cotton candy. Uh, here's another one kind of like made of polygonal golden sculpt. You can, of course, try the different uh, realistic styles or just choose none here and then just add your own prompts and styles uh, if you want something totally different than what is uh, what is being offered by Logo Diffusion. And this is how you turn a sketch into a logo using Logo Diffusion. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.